Hey everybody, it's Brian, and I just kind of wanted to make a little quick video note here. I had, uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know that for like a couple of years now, I've been wanting uh, laser eye surgery so I wouldn't have to wear glasses, and for a while I even went without glasses just to see if I could do it. Finally broke down, got the surgery. Um, I went to a place called Southwest Michigan Eye Center. Um, this is also kind of in case you're thinking of getting it. Um, it's actually a pretty decent experience. I mean, um, ironically, I knew some of these people. Like this guy actually lives next to my uncle, but uh, never met him. Never met him. Doctor William A. Shrey is the guy who did my surgery. Very good, good, good doctor. Um, nothing but positive things to say about him and the operation. And ironically, he used to sell me glasses at Pearl Vision. So <laughs> I've kind of bumped into some of these fellows throughout life. But uh, Doctor Shrey is a pretty, pretty well-renowned surgeon here. He's got a lot under his belt and. I felt really comfortable. Um, hope he doesn't mind, you know, thousands of people viewing his webpage. But uh, the I actually live in Battle Creek, and the surgery was in Lansing, which actually kind of worked out well because I work in Lansing and live in Battle Creek. So I just did like a half day. But as you can see, it's a hefty little drive here. I mean, there's Michigan, and there's, you know, Lansing and Battle Creek, and I had to drive, you know. Actually, my girlfriend drove, but... Um, just a quick note, you know, just wherever you live, you may have to travel to get this done. I mean, I live in Michigan, which, I mean, if you zoom out, you see the United States. It's actually a pretty populated little area here, but um, even so, I still had to drive like an hour away to get this done. So if you live in kind of a remote location, you're definitely looking at a drive or at least an overnight stay. Um, not much to actually say. I mean, we showed up at the surgical center and uh, had to go through the whole paperwork thing and the sit and wait and then they prep you and they sit there and a nurse you know like evaluates you and I'm I'm smart enough and old enough to know that she was really evaluating my psychological state to see if I needed a Valium or not um, if you don't know what a Valium is like a Ativan it like calms you down I didn't have one uh, I think the guy in front of me probably had like 60 because he was really not not there he was real nervous anyways um there's different types of surgeries there's PRK LASIK and LASIK um, the difference is, is how they actually do it. Uh, PRK, they actually scrape the tissue on the top of your eye off. They just remove it. Uh, LASIK, they actually put like this little ring and they drop alcohol in it to dissolve the tissue. And LASIK, they actually cut with like this little... They use, I, I think it's called a microfiblia or something like that. But uh, the, the place that I went to, the Southwest Michigan Eye Center, they have this thing called intralase. So it's totally bladeless. It's all done with lasers. It's actually pretty sweet. And that's why I specifically went here, because I didn't like the little, I'm probably mispronouncing it, microfibia. It looks like a can opener for your eye. It's just very scary. It's this metal blade. They clamp your eye down, and then they chop the top of your eye off. And they don't do that here. They use this intralase laser, which is all done with lasers. It's, see, why blade-free? How does it work? My internet's been acting kind of crazy lately. But, uh, I mean, you can just kind of read about the intralase laser. I think it's called the Exizer laser also. It's actually pretty sweet. Did a lot of reading about it. And I was fairly nervous going into this because I, you know, like many of you, I went out to Google and I typed in, you know, LASIK or PRK recovery. And there are some horror stories out there. There's people that claim it made them blind. There's people that, you know, PRK is supposed to be the most painful version of all these with the longest recovery time because you're literally just peeling that flesh right off. And I'm going to warn you, if you're a little squeamish, stop the video now because I'm going to show you some kind of graphic pictures here. Um, some of you might not think they're graphic, others are going to be like, oh my god, why are you showing me this? But uh, So you go in, and uh, well, actually let me back up. The reason why I had PRK instead of these others is I have high pressure in my eyes, um, borderline glaucoma maybe, so I'm going to have to monitor that throughout my life. And with these two, they actually like clamp your eye down with a vacuum, LASIK and LASIK. They clamp your eye down with this vacuum that sucks your eye into place so you can't move it. And that creates a tremendous amount of pressure in the eye. And if I already have high pressure, you can't do that. Where PRK, your eye is free floating. You can move it around. They just clamp your eyes open so that you can't blink. Put in a bunch of numbing drops and, you know, away you go. All right, so the actual surgery itself looks very similar to, let's see if I can pull the bigger picture here, this right here. Where you got a couple people and they're watching some monitor off to the edge that you can't see. And you've got the actual doctor performing the operation here. And the laser is this guy right here. Doesn't really look what you think a laser would look like. You know, I was looking for something like out of Terminator or something like that, or you know, Star Wars, but no, it's just this big, you know, 
machine looking thing and you lay down and they give you a little stuffed animal to hold which I think at one point I was squeezing the life out of and uh, they zap you now the they put numbing drops in and with PRK and this is what I was talking about where it gets a little graphic here is um, they actually scrape the top off using it looks like this little toothbrush thing and when they first did it my eye wasn't fully numb um, I don't think that was any fault of the doctor I'm just generally weird when it comes to drugs they either hit me real hard or they don't hit me at all and um, my it didn't really hurt it was just like it was something touching your eye you could feel it and I said hey you know I'm not numb fully and he's like oh we can fix that and he numbed it up and then as he was doing my eye he said you know some people says this tickles and I was like yeah right how could this tick and then it actually did tickle and I giggled a little bit and then he did the left eye and it didn't I didn't feel it at all yeah there's no tickling unfortunately um, and what it does is it creates this rough I shouldn't say this rough this clean surface they you know you see the tissue here is being pulled back and they just you know take this off and you've got this you know kind of fresh tissue bed here to work with and then they laser directly on top of here and reshape the eye and afterwards this is not a picture of me because she is here and she is a she but you get to wear these sexy sunglasses for a little while and you gotta wear goggles to bed and all that but uh, just in case anybody was doing any interest or any investigation into like Southwest Michigan Eye Center I'd highly recommend Dr. Shrey um, I can't really recommend any of the other doctors because I didn't have them and uh, PRK was not as bad there was no pain I mean none zero pain through the whole process there was a little discomfort um, when I say discomfort, I mean you have these drops that you have to put in, like an antibiotic, a steroid, uh, fake tears, because when you have an eye injury, your eye stops producing tears, or I shouldn't say stops, it really slows down tear production, so your eyes get dry. And those can kind of like sting a little bit, it's it's like getting shampoo in your eye, it's not as bad, but it's similar. Um, and there were a couple nights where I'd wake up and my eyes would just itch, like crazy itch. And he gave me a pretty hefty duty painkiller, and I took one of those, didn't feel it. But I only took, I think he gave me a bottle of 20, and I only took like two or three through the whole thing. Uh, I had my surgery on a Thursday, went home, pretty much just slept from Thursday to Friday morning. Friday morning, well, I got up to put my drops and stuff in. Um, Friday morning, you have a follow up with the doctor, and I couldn't open my eyes. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just I, I had a really hard time opening them. It was like when you're in a dark room and somebody flips on the light, your eyes just don't want to open. Um, I had that. Everything was real blurry and cloudy. And I think that's because, where's that image? Yeah, when they do this, this has to grow back. And as it does, it doesn't grow back evenly. It's kind of like cloudy and misty. Um, and they do put a surgical contact over you so that you don't get an infection. And my, my vision actually got really good and I was really excited and then they took the surgical contact out my vision went right down back to where it was and I was kind of bummed about that but I had expected that because I did my research um, and this morning I woke up and it's like I was amazed how well I could see I'm not 2020 but I'm sitting at my desk and I'm looking and I can actually see the coffee pot in the kitchen which I could never see before and even with glasses it was always kind of difficult to see so I would say my vision's probably going to be, let me get that nasty image out of there, sorry. My vision's probably going to be 20-20 or very close to it. Um, got a, I'm trying to think of anything else here. Um, there was no pain. Uh, it actually, the surgery itself was literally like not even, not even five minutes per eye. I mean, most of the time was just the prep work. The actual zapping with the laser was like 30 seconds. No pain whatsoever. I'll warn you, you can smell your eye burning from the laser, and that's kind of a weird smell. It's kind of like uh, burnt cat hair and bacon. Yeah, I was actually hungry after the operation. kind of creeped me out a little bit. I think it creeped out everybody else. But uh, um, other final words of wisdom. It's going to be PRK has the longest recovery time out of all the operations. Where is that image? Because that tissue's gone, so my vision will fluctuate over the next few months. But so far nothing but good things to say about the operation the doctor and the place um man i'm just i'm trying to relay like three days of my experience oh recovery time yes after the operation i literally because you're going to be very light sensitive i just went up in my bedroom with my ipod and i literally spent three days in bed with my eyes closed laying the pot listening to podcasts and just laying in bed and kind of napping on and off and i'm really glad i did um you can probably force yourself to watch TV or go out with friends, but I just, 
I just didn't want to. I wanted my eyes to recover as fast as possible. So, um, pretty happy. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. Um, if you watch any of my videos, you know I'm usually extremely busy and I've got a lot of people messaging me, but I'm more than happy to answer questions about the surgery. That's it.